How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What'd I say about the giant shark? Oh, boy. I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys gotta try, right? You get those flyers printed up? Yeah, but nobody's gonna let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer. Don't forget. City Public Radio. Radio which gives the public exactly what they want. High quality educational programming about serious topics and the consistent reminder that the world is going to hell in a handbasket if you don't give us money. Remember, Vice City Public Radio is commercial free because it is funded entirely by donations from our listeners and corporate sponsors. So if you're enjoying the show, why not make a contribution? I'm Maurice Chavez and this is Pressing Issues. Pressing Issues is a roundtable discussion group in which we ask self-important people exactly what they think about things, and then they argue amongst themselves for a bit, before leaving with views more extreme than when they came in. <laughs> Only joking, ladies and gentlemen. This is a show founded on the ancient Greek principle of enlightened debate and the American principle of free speech. Or is that the ancient Greek principle of feeding wise men hemlock, and the American principle of being annoyed and loud so nobody can get a word in? I forget. Only time will tell. Now the subject we are discussing right now and pressing issues with me, Maurice Chavez, for your enlightenment and enjoyment is a very serious one. Public safety. In case you haven't noticed, Vice City is not a very safe place. These are troubled times. We are a troubled people. Some would say we are a people at war with ourselves. Others would say we are at war with reality. Those who live in other countries and strive to own our fast food restaurants and quickie marts would say we are a bloodthirsty bunch of crazies who let children buy guns from the supermarkets. Another opinion is that it is the fault of society that, as Plato said, people don't mean to kill each other. It happens because they are poor or desperate or really thirsty or in need of a vacation or something. Another view is that we are all a little confused and really should stay at home, lock the doors and forget about everything as quickly as possible. So, let's rest the issue, eh? Sitting on our panel right now, we have three divergent opinions. Three separate islands of insanity in a rolling sea of stupidity. Three wise men following very different stars. To my right, <laughs> to everyone's right in fact, we have Congressman Alex Shrub, the youngest state congressman ever to be elected by Vice City, and now a respected man in the Capitol. Mr. Shrub got elected because he has great hair and says things that make you nod your head. His campaign appealed to the wealthy because he said all of us at ease by finally confirming it's okay to be rich as long as you say you care about the children. Mr. Shrub, welcome. That's not entirely true, Maurice. My campaign also appealed to the poor, who are too stupid to understand what I'm saying, so I held up pretty pictures and I gave out candy bars to appeal to their most base instincts. Thanks, Maurice. I'm glad to be given this opportunity to set the record straight. I I haven't given you any opportunity yet, my heartless friend. Let me introduce my other guest first. I hope this isn't going to get personal. I love Vice City more than anyone, and I can prove it. Our next guest is from the opposite end of the political spectrum. A man so wet, he looks like he just stepped out of the shower. Peace Corps activist, hippie concert taper, founder of the group Speaking for the Underdog. He is fluent in seven languages and studied the harp in Peru, Callum Grayshaw. 